Okay, you guys requested me to identify five to seven insects, animals, and twelve plants. I can do that. I've survived much more hostile places with dangerous bears everywhere. I always get a new coat whenever I go to Siberia. Don't come near me, Mr. Hornet. I am allergic to you. Shall be surviving in the toughest environment imaginable. It's so humid here. Uh. Hello, peoples of America. My name is Ivanovna Ivanovichka Ivanovichka. I will be teaching you how to survive in the Texas forest area, just like where I am right now. Now, I am a survival expert, and I am used to living in these kind of conditions because I have traveled all around the world to teach you how to survive in these kinds of conditions. I will also be giving you survival tactics and tips to survive in the world. More like Texas forest area, but whatever. Rule number one, when dealing with Texas, you're gonna have many thorns, many insects. You must always wear long pants, boots, and long sleeved jackets whenever you're down here. I didn't bring a jacket, but luckily the vegetation around me will help me make one. This is day one. I need to find food, water, and shelter. But I'm not going to need shelter because I'm Russian and I will sleep under the stars. It's only day one and I'm already getting hungry. I don't have the usual bear and vodka that I would in Russia. This is Texas. I have to go... Fishing. Yes, I, I will go fishing in Texas and see what I can catch. Before you go fishing, you must always have your trusty fishing hat. I got mine from Australia. To make a fishing pole, you can use a simple stick, some string, and a bottle. I've been fishing here for about six hours, and it doesn't look like there's any fish in this stream. But I'll keep going for you. Oh, oh, I think I caught something. Microorganisms. I'm going to dine tonight. I was wrong. That water tasted terrible. I also got chiggers. I hate nature. It's day two. I really need to find something to eat or I might as well eat my hand off. Luckily for me, I found a caterpillar, and I think it will be quite edible. See, these are found all over Texas, right on these trees, and uh, I'm not really sure if they're edible, but you know, you live, you learn. So let's just, let's just have some. The trick about eating new foods from other countries is to just quickly eat it don't think about it and just do it. Mmm, much nutrients. Very sour. A little poisonous, maybe. But I think we'll be fine. Let me just find some more and we can we can have breakfast together. These caterpillars are making me very thirsty. And I didn't bring vodka with me. 
that stream water is poisonous so I'm going to just have to drink my own urine or just some of this coffee I brought with me rule number two of Texas forest area there is bugs everywhere many mosquitoes that want to drink your blood I always carry bug spray with me this is oof very very common bug spray you just apply it everywhere keep the bugs away <clears throat> keep the bugs away they will kill you you will get malaria there are some cute little butterflies here but this is Texas it's eat or be eaten by malaria shall be recording the temperatures of everything around me and making graphs I shall be using Celsius because the C in Celsius stands for customary socks now I record these temperatures to make a graph of them later in Celsius because I can convert you subtract 32 and divide by 1.8 that is the right right way to measure temperature you silly Americans! These Celsius graphs will help me keep track of the area or plot all around me. Die! And we will be able to keep track of the ecosystems, the animals, temperatures all around. It is very good in the science field. Maybe even biology. Biologia. The science of everything the plants around here should almost be edible many wild flowers many wisps these are disgusting and I found another feral pig track it looks fresh in this mud I might have bacon tonight guys comrades I've been walking here all day I've identified like 27 insects, 7 animals, I found a cute little snail. The plants are proving to be much harder to identify because I like fun stuff, not photosynthesis stuff. Noticed that my accent has gotten deeper or richer. Why is my camera not working? But it is because I'm allergic to pollen and that's all that there is in the air is pollen making plants that just love to prove me wrong in everything I do. Like these plants for example, I do not think I'm allergic to these actually. But I'm allergic to almost everything here. I am starting to die from dehydration, starvation, boredom, and I'm still stuck here for another week. But I've survived worse. Texas can't be that bad. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I've been walking all over here. I can't find anything fun to do, except look at how all these mosquitoes keep biting me. God, I wish I was in Russia and the cold would kill everything. During the night, I happened to find many birds, including cardinals. Oh, hang on, hang on. You can hear all the birds around you, yes? There are many cardinals in Texas. And that night, after the chiggers stopped itching, I heard a hoo-hoo. More like hoo 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 hoo. It was a great horned owl. It looks like somebody else is living here for now. Looks like I know where I'm setting up camp. Am I right, comrades? I'm right. What are you doing here? This is my land. Sir, 
I've been surviving here for almost three days. What are you doing here? This is my land. I own this property. How did you even get here? Are you even a US citizen? Okay, that's enough for my episode this week. Join me next week when I go scuba diving in the Arctic. God, it is a blue jay. Come on. It is a blue jay right there. He is very blue, very, very loud. Oh, he's gone. That must mean there is a snake somewhere or a danger. Although I haven't heard the blue jay sing yet. I'm gonna call him P3. Let's go find that snake. Blah, 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 blah. To get the snakes out, make a lot of noise and you won't get hurt. Blah 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 blah. Oh, 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 oh. Russia is the best. Capitalists suck. I shall be re Oh, sorry. It's like the biggest hornet I have ever seen. I hope it doesn't sting me. I am very allergic to absolutely everything in nature. Dang. Oh my god. Don't come near me, Mr. Hornet. I am allergic to you. Hello, Mr. Horsefly. Are you going to bite me just like your hornet friend did? and give me allergic reaction? Why won't this camera focus? Mr. Horsefly? Mr. Horsefly? Mr. You're not a horsefly! Oh my god, it's gone! I am used to being attacked by many ravaged rabies and blah. I am used to living in the Siberia outback where there are young blah, 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 blah. I am used to surviving in dangerous climates and environments with ravenous bears and a vodka dis <sighs> I've never been in a place so humid and bipolar every single day <laughs> Oh, that is, that is very, very pretty. Oh, that is very, very pretty. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Butterfly. I hate nature. <laughs> <laughs>